the worst of Helene has passed the meadow by, though we're still having some gusts of wind. We're still under a wind advisory. We're still under a tropical storm warning or watch. But let's take a walk around the meadow and see how everything survived. Well, first and foremost, Moose is perfectly fine. He survived the storm. I'm not sure where he sheltered, but he sheltered fine. You can see we lost a, I actually just have one dragon fruit branch down. Some of the stuff we had on the patio, silly me, I did not put it back against the wall. So those rolled off. I've just left them laying down for now because we're still having wind that could topple them over. If we look out in the meadow itself, everything looks pretty good. We just have some limbs and branches down so far as I can tell. I'm really grateful <laughs> that we took that tree out right there. I am so grateful because that could have been a hot mess. Yeah, we just got some branches down here. Had these trees all uh, all set up and sort of locked in. Oh goodness, there was a big crane. I don't know if you can see him or not over there. Um, we didn't have a lot of rain, so the water's not up, so that's fantastic. Let's go look this way, see what's going on. Our bird feeders are still up. I usually take those off, but I guess I just didn't this time. We weren't quite expecting it to be quite as windy as it has been. You can kind of see sort of some havoc here in the garden bed. The wind blowing some things over. It's pretty havocky anyway, but not, not too bad. You know, people ask me all the time how I secure these big, big trellises. I just pinch them between the beds. You know, the wind just blows right through that, so that's okay. You see, I've got a, my, my eggplant is down. Let's see if it broke. I think I can probably recover that. Um, the beans are okay there. Just some wind, just some wind here on the pumpkin patch. Ah, the peppers took a hit here. They fell a lot more than they were. They could use some better staking. Oh, but, oh, here we go. Here we go. The okra, I think, <laughs> I think it's officially done for the season. Uh, I'll have to get out here. I'm gonna get out here with my saw and sort of cut these off one at a time. And I may try to save some of these stalks for trellises for next year or for stakes for next year. Definitely uh, the bigger pieces just fell right on over. And even though it's attached, we kind of have it through. <laughs> Isn't that funny? The ones that I ran through the fence though, I mean, just the top's broken, it was well supported. That's an idea. Maybe I run them through a fence next time, but a lot of wind blowing all the basil around over here. I can see that's completely blown and it pulled some of it out of the ground. That's okay though, that's okay. Nothing major, I'm really, I'm really happy about this. The persimmon tree is still standing. So that's good, though, interestingly enough, this is open now. So maybe, I don't know if you can see, the bottom of it's open, this has been closed. And so maybe, just maybe, the wind broke that string in whipping around. So I need to close it back up because I still wanna eat these persimmons and I don't want the raccoons to have them. So I need to come back and take care of that. Everything up here looks pretty good. Um, my trellis did just fine. It held in. I've got wing beans I need to pick. That's great. That's great. This little garden bed up front is just fine. Those sort of whipped around some, but everything is okay. Let's head back around to the side of the house here. The tabby bua is in great shape. Nothing wrong there. Ah, the bananas, this, is, this worried me a little bit. After Tropical Storm Debbie, or during, before Tropical Storm Debbie, I should say, we put this ratchet strap around the bananas. I'm really glad that we did. I think that is the reason we have bananas standing. I really think if we had not done that, they would be down now. I really do. Oh, here's some more bananas growing, yay! May have to start picking some of these bananas now. We're getting there, getting to be time. That's fantastic. All right, walking over this way. Let's see, just some wind, wind blown there. 
interestingly enough, that okra broke off during Debbie, so I just cut the top of it off and it's okay because it was lower. That all held in, very windswept, very windswept. Something's missing. There was an okra plant there, let's walk. Oh, and this didn't used to lean over here, so that's definitely windy. Oh gosh. Um, I don't even know where these boards came from. I have, huh, okay. Very interesting. Not sure where they were, but there they are now. Um, oh, I left my bowl out here. Ah, that's what's missing here. My okra plant, look at there. Another okra is down, that's okay. Let's dump that, we don't need any mosquitoes out here. Oh, got another casualty here. Now, someone gave me a tip. I did not do this, but I loved the tip. My cousin told me, if you have big trees like this, instead of trying to drag them back to the garage or something, just turn them on their sides because they're going to be on their sides anyway. At least this way you get a choice. I wish I'd done that. I'll put a, post a picture up. Mom uh, had an, uh, a bigger grapefruit tree that just came right out of the bottom of the pot. The pot didn't turn over at all, but the whole tree came out. And so I'll post a picture of that here. Let's see, let's walk back this way a little bit. Yeah, here's the rest of that okra right here. Everything else over there looks good. Potting station looks good. We were watching the mulberry just bend over completely. Like see how it's just going there. We watched it bend over completely, but my gosh, ah, this is good. This is good. No limbs on the shed, excuse me, the garden studio. No limbs there. Um, nothing washed away or blew away back here. All good. Thank you for the messages that y'all sent, checking on me, the good wishes. They are greatly appreciated. I am super happy to report, and this is my first time walking around the whole yard too, that we didn't find anything major going on here. So that is excellent news. Our hearts and prayers go out to everybody who is still in the path of this storm. Y'all stay safe and be smart and take care of yourselves. A lot of injuries happen post-storm because people are just trying to get things done. So please, please be careful and uh, make sure that you're staying safe. If you want to see how I typically prepare the garden for a hurricane, you can check out this whole playlist right over here. And until next time, my friends, remember to drink plenty of water, wear that high quality sunscreen, and as always have a fantastic day.